Good morning folks, so yep, I'm here back at Jason's place and uh, he's helping me install the new rear lights for the car. As you can see, this is the old one that's actually a repaired hole. There's a hole here which was somehow repaired and I can understand why that was done. It's because these are impossible, almost impossible to find these brand new. So, but there you go. Uh, Mr. KK at AME Auto Parts Supply managed to find it in his store and it's just uh, unbelievable that it was managed to that you managed to find it ini kena pakai ya bro mm. Mm. so let me just show you how NOS this is NOS stands for new old stock and it, this is actually the tape that was being uh, used to hold this box in place and uh, yeah here we go oh sorry so yeah the box is basically falling apart Seriously, the box is falling apart. I've never seen a box fall apart like this before. Have you ever seen a box rip into pieces like this? But uh, here she is. Oh man, this is like unboxing buried treasure. Look at that. Look what it says here. So this box was lying at the back of his store and uh, we needed to be really careful because when he lifted it up, it actually, the bottom actually came out. The bottom was so badly degraded that the, you see, the tape has become part of the box. It has, via osmosis, it has become part of the box, but brand new left and right. And uh, another score, which uh, Jason is doing for me, check this out. Ta-da! look at that this was the old one it was cracked there was a crack here and water had actually seeped into it as you can see there's a bit of a repaired crack here and but water had actually gone in and stained it and AME had a brand new one so yeah score lucky uh, what else am I doing here today Jason's gonna install grounding cable for me for this car again grounding cable is uh, it's nothing uh, too fancy it costs less than 50 ringgit you can get it at brother's accessory shop what it does is it just smoothens out the electric current that's running through your car it is very very good for old cars anything above 20 years old 25 years old this is 31 years old so yes it will benefit this car a lot yeah i've got grounding cable in just about all my cars and uh yeah i swear by it so this is what the grounding cable looks like I've opted for purple just to be a little bit different but these go to, into various points of the engine bay area and then they will just uh, be connected to the battery so just to even out to even out the uh, electric current running through the battery so yes so happy to find it this is the box that this the new one came in and it's also Toyota genuine parts as you can see and the box is just like falling apart at the seams. I mean, it's just crazy. But yeah, so cool. So he's gonna put the new ones in. It's like awesome. Look at that, perfect fit. Very nice. And this part needs to go in a bit. But the bumper, that's not his fault. The bumper is so from this, to that amazing right so lots of stuff happening here it's good to be back I haven't been here for in quite a while and the latest happening that's Jason's new new car I am so happy for him it's a 325 look at that beautiful six-cylinder engine so yeah congratulations Jason I'm so happy for you he finally got the car of his dreams so so cool hard work pays off definitely i want to see the uh, legendary six cylinder engine awesome. so yeah he's doing some uh, headlight polishing and he sent the bumper for a respray but uh, yeah so it's great to be back here at m1 performance haven't been here in a long time jason's doing the uh, grounding cable himself so yes, uh, I do believe in grounding cable. I do recommend it for any car above 25 years old. It works, it really does work. Okay, just a very quick update for all of you. Hope your 
enjoying your day I definitely am and yeah don't forget old school rules baby I'm gonna go and see Ake after this see what we can do about the uh, paint and body work cool. hey how's it going folks ah so I'm just done at uh, Jason's place he's installed the grounding cable for me and already I can feel this there's, there's an improvement in terms of the acceleration of the car it's smoother listen to this Oh, this engine is still very, very nice. Oh my goodness, can you imagine? 31 years old and this car was a buy and drive. Five-speed manual gearbox. Unbelievable. Sorry, cut out somebody. Stop, don't stop here like that. But you're on the main road. No reason to stop, don't stop. Go further up and, you know, pull off to the side where it's safer. Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah. So this car was a very surprise buy. I was not, I was not expecting to buy this car, honestly. And uh, because I had shortlisted it, I went to see it. And it was actually the last car that I went to see in terms of the uh, latest Weevil for my garage. And um, a, lot of a lot of factors, you know, why, why did I buy this Corona when I could have bought, you know, the other cars? Why did I buy this Corona? Well, one of the main reasons was because 2020 has been the year of the coronavirus. And uh, what better way for a car guy to celebrate or rather commemorate uh, the year of the coronavirus, the C19 virus, than to buy a Toyota Corona. Yeah, I've already had a Corolla, which was my rock and roller. So now I've got a rock and roller. I mean, why not indeed? So anyway, what have I done? Okay, there was a, a lot done actually. The, um, insofar as after getting the car, the first, the first thing, Two brand new tires in front because the tie rod ends had already gone a bit uh, haywire so there was a lot of wear on the outside of the tires so i had to get two brand new tires in front and of course i changed the tie rod ends and i did a full uh, blood transfusion as i like to as i like to call it and um, all that all that i will um, i will list in the uh, description the main the main points of what what happened all that came up to 2200 ringgits yeah quite a bit and uh, so yes, if you're looking to get a daily driver, let's say you want to get a cheap daily driver, be prepared to spend upwards of 1500 to about 2000 ringgit on just the doing up of the car. Now, one funny story I tell you, I think this car, uh, that uncle, I think he never drove it more than maybe 60 kilometers an hour or maybe even 60 kilometers in a month. So this car was not used to the kind of uh, driving that I would be you know putting it through but uh, that's not to say i'm going to trash the hell out of this car all the time no i drive very sedately actually um if you've ever driven with me i actually drive very sedately and i've always said drive within your own pace you know within your own uh, limits do not ever try to keep up with other other people as they drive oh, I'm going over the bumps and it's still so comfortable always drive at your own pace and my pace is usually quite uh, quite sedate but the other day, after everything had been done, I took it for a little bit of a spirited drive. And uh, <laughs> I think the car, if the car could talk, as I reached speeds in excess of 100 kilometers an hour, moving on to 130, 140, the car must have been saying, what the hell are you doing? I was not made for this. Well, actually it was, but it's just that the car had not been used like that. So I looked down and hey, uh, the temperature had gone to half and then it had gone slightly above half and the next thing I know it's uh, almost at three quarters so I pulled over and I popped upon it there was no hissing there was no uh, there wasn't any um, funny funny sounds coming from the engine there was no smoke there was no steam nothing and uh, once the engine had cooled down I checked the um, going through the tunnel it's not like you're blacking out or anything once the engine had cooled down I checked the radiator there was water in it so what I suspect is that the car had not been driven like this for what? Maybe its whole life. I don't know, this uncle owned this car since new. So maybe the car its whole life has just been driven slow, driven sedate, never really gunned, you know, never pedal to the metal kind of driving, which I put it through just once and there was a heck of a protest. So thankfully I pulled over before anything happened and I suspect, well, at the time I suspected it was the water pump because um, we did flush the radiator, but uh, inside the water pump, it might have been clogged. Maybe the, the impeller wasn't turning you know, properly enough. I, I 
of the suspension. This car is just so, so compliant. And so maybe the impeller wasn't turning fast enough to pump, you know, more water through the engine to cool it down. And we checked, the water pump was fine, but it was old. And sure enough, there was a lot of sediment in it. So we cleaned up the, the, uh, the water pump and the car is fine. The temperature is stable at uh, just below half, which is where it's supposed to be. So yeah, that, that happened. But um, other than that, apart from the wear and tear stuff, actually I've got the receipt here. So you can actually have a look, we can actually have a look at this together. Yeah, I've got the receipt here. So let's see what are the main things that happened with this car. Okay, the main things that happened with this car, of course, two new tires in front, uh, 340 ringgit for both. Uh, what's the other big one here? The timing belt set, yes, I had to change the timing belt set. Actually, I was quite happy with the car. The uh, previous owner could not remember when he had changed the timing belt. So I'm glad I got that done because it's better safe than sorry. got the um, aluminum gear shifter on this and it fits really nice it looks really good so small small things like this is ripped I'm gonna get a new one of course but uh, other than that just running so well really really happy with the way this car is running and uh, stay tuned because uh, yes I'm on my way to Ake's place and uh, he's gonna check out the car It's not as urgent or, you know, frantic like the uh, Corolla SE or even the uh, Nissan Sentra uh, that it, that's uh, parked at home. Look at that, it just bad roads, just goes over, so nice. But uh, yeah, it's not as, as urgent, the, the kind of acceleration is not as urgent, but it's smooth. And once this car gets going, it's really, really good. And this is falling off again. So, stay tuned, uh, I'm gonna do a walk around on the car so you can see what it looks like before like as in currently uh and then the reveal after Ake has done his magic yeah so i'll be right back here she is at this famous place Ake's shop he has done so much for me and now he's gonna take on this toyota corona i'm so excited to see what he's gonna do actually because there's a lot to be done first of all the bumpers need to be realigned front and rear then of course there's this uh patina here which needs to be taken care of we thought we could leave the uh, the roof but no all the lacquer has come out it's almost like a matte finish you can hear the sound that's not smooth that sounds like sandpaper so yeah folks looks like we're gonna have to do a full outside coat on this car Sifu, itu wiper pun kasih hitam ah? but I think it's gonna be great because in Ake I trust he uh, he appreciates old cars so Mana hitam, hitam, mana body color, body color. That's the way we're gonna go. And uh, oh, Sifu, ah, ini pun hitam ah. Itu wiper. wiper no, ah, ini, ini, ini mesti hitam. Ah, tak tahu kenapa dia putih. Yeah. yeah, mana hitam, hitam, mana body color, body color lah. Okay. So as you can see, the the paint is not that great. And Ake is gonna take care of it. But that's my new corner light. Check it out. I just got it fitted. Jason fitted it for me. The grounding cable has been done. And uh, so now it's just wow. This is quick. So this is all gonna be painted black again. And of course, this is the worst, worst part. And I told him to be very careful when taking out the badges because I don't know where I'm going to be able to get this if it breaks or if it shatters. So, yeah. Take one last good look. There's the new lights have gone in already. Very, very happy about that. They're gorgeous. So gorgeous. And uh, yeah, so now it's time for paint. All this is going to be adjusted. As you can see, this part has dropped a little bit. This is still okay, so that's going to be adjusted. But other than that, 
it's time for paint it's time for Ake to do his magic it's out of my hands now folks yes I'm gonna keep the wheel covers because those are brand new tires in front the rear tires are still good but I'm keeping the wheel covers so he's gonna give me one outside coat for the wheel covers and uh, yeah I'm really really excited to see what's gonna happen with this guy as you can see the tint has been done already so it's quite nice Stay tuned, that's all I can say. Lots more to come. Okay, take care, y'all. Bye bye.